Right. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. And I'm TG from Hester Sport Fishing. And today we're gonna to talk about scents with walleye fishing. Now, uh, as most of you walleye fishermen know, scent isn't one of the big key factors that walleye key on when they're uh, looking for bait. You know, sight, vibration is really the primary two, but there's a lot of days, especially right now, where the rivers start to get more blown out and make visibility. Make a big difference. Yeah, visibility is a little less. It can make a huge difference. So when you're looking for scents, you want to try to match the hatch, if you will. So there's a bunch of different scents, as you can see here on the table. Now, one of the most popular ones the last couple of years that's kind of new to us in the Columbia River is shrimp. <laughs> there is a, uh, an invasive species called Siberian prawns in the Columbia River as of about 2004. I thought it was a myth. <laughs> it's real. And a lot of these walleye are, are feeding on these shrimp and it's become one of their major food source. So of course, shrimp's be one of your uh, top notch. If you're looking at the old standby, the classic trophy walleye. Now, Procure has us down in some deep vault down 100 yards in the, you know, in the ground where they store all their gold, <laughs> but you know, the formula for this. But Trophy Walleye is also one of our favorites. It's yeah. been proven years and years and years now, and it's just kind of your old standby. It's your chrome and yellow quick fish for salmon. Yeah, it's a go-to. For sure. And then from there, you can really vary out from anything you want. You can go to your garlics, your leeches, uh, your crawfish, just stay fishy. You know, stay what these walleye are actually, stay with what these walleye are actually eating. Um, yeah. And then from there, you can kind of vary a little bit. For instance, there's the yeah. eel scent. Yep, so a lot of these walleye are feeding on lamprey eels. The closer you can get to uh, a lamprey scent is gonna be eel. So again, mix and match. You have your super gel, which is great for putting on everything. It sticks really well. You have your bait wax, which is almost like a glue stick that you would just rub right on the jig or whatever you want to use, and it sticks on really well. And as well as your bottom auger setup. You know, you can rub these on your smile blades, run them on your metal blades, uh, run them up your leader, however you feel like it's going to best help you on the water. All right, guys, so for applying these scents with the bait stick, all you do is pop the cap off, make sure you have enough there. And what I like to do is not go overzealous with it. I just take the tip, I smear it all over the front of the bait, a little bit on the edges, and you're good to go. And for our gel, um, you can apply it onto a jig like that, just the same way, or like what I like to do. If your jig has eyes, just go ahead and squish it right into the eyes, and most of it will come off, but just enough will stick onto it and you'll be able to fish for a good amount of time like that. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Again, walleye scents uh, can be really big and tough bites. It's always something to have in your tackle box and uh, use when you need it. Yep. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and we'll see you on the water.